Welcome to the session. In this session, we will be talking about something that is not determined by anyone yet. Yes, I am talking about the indeterminate forms. By the name, you must have got a fair idea about these forms. The numerical expressions which don't give out a certain value or a defined value are known as indeterminate forms. You must be wondering about how these forms come into play and how do we get such results. We learnt about certain rules to find the value of a limit. We'll be using those rules now to get the results and to see how indeterminate forms come into play. If we take the graph of 1 by x here, then as x is approaching to 0, you can easily see that the value of 1 by x is approaching to infinity. And as we go closer and closer to 0, the value of 1 by x is getting larger and larger and once the x is approached to 0, then 1 by x can be taken as infinity. I hope you have understood why infinity is referred as an undefined number. Now let's come back to the main concept that is indeterminate forms. So if we take two functions and they are being added and we have to find the limit of this function. Suppose the limit of these functions are approaching to infinity, then we will get infinity plus infinity as our answer. So infinity plus infinity will be equal to infinity as they can be added. But what if we get a result as infinity minus infinity? Since both the values are not determined and we do not know any defined values for these two numbers, therefore infinity minus infinity will not give us a determined value and this gives us our first indeterminate form that is infinity minus infinity. Now let's talk about the division rule. So here two functions are approaching to either 0 or infinity. Let's talk about the first case where both the functions are approaching to 0. So we'll get 0 by 0 and we cannot get any defined value for the expression 0 by 0. Similarly, if both the functions are approaching to infinity, we won't get any value as infinity by infinity is not a defined number. This gives us our two more indeterminate forms that are 0 by 0 and infinity by infinity. I hope that you have understood till now and if we go on to try and to find other indeterminate forms, then we'll get these forms that are 0 to the power 0, infinity to the power 0, 0 multiplied by infinity and 1 to the power infinity. I hope that you have understood the 7 indeterminate forms till now. To understand them better, let us see a few examples. So here we have our first question which asks us to evaluate this limit. So if I try to put the value of x as 2, then I will get 2 square minus 5 into 2 plus 6 upon 2 square minus 4 which would give me 4 minus 10 plus 6 upon 4 minus 4 which would be equal to 0 by 0. As you can see here that this is an indeterminate form. So how can I solve this limit? Let us see how. So we have x square minus 5x plus 6 upon x square minus 4 and we have to find the value of this function at x tending to 2. So I can easily factorize the numerator and denominator and I'll get x square minus 2x minus 3x plus 6 upon x minus 2 and x plus 2 and the limit is x tends to 2. So I can write this as limit x tends to 2 x x minus 2 minus 3 3 x minus 2 whole upon x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 2. Now we can get limit x tends to 2 x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 2 upon x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 2. So we will finally get limit x tends to 2 x minus 3 upon x plus 2. Now if we put the value of x as 2 then we will get 2 
माइनस थ्री अपॉन टू प्लस टू विच इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन बाय फोर हेंस द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस लिमिट इज माइनस वन बाय फोर